In this video, we're going to walk you through how to create the task checklist or task template that gets automatically created in Asana when your Google Form is submitted, hence the name Google Forms to Asana Checklist Pro. When you run out and then you get this wizard on the right hand side and the step eight is to open and create your task checklist, which is really opening the dashboard you connected in step two. Okay, so if you open that, click and open it, you'll get a video explaining how to do it and then click OK, let's do it. And then this opens the dashboard. Now you can see here I've got three forms connected. They're all called the same because we're currently doing testing. Um, they're all though you, on a different ID tab. Okay, so you just need to find the one that you're working on and edit that. So I know I'm working on this one, number four. So I'm going to go to tab number four. I'm going to delete out what I've got there and I'm going to start from scratch. So in this one here, you can create a name for the task. Now, that will come through into Asana like this. You'll get this name appearing here. Okay, but this, the headings here are really handy, especially if you have a long checklist or a project to be able to break up the, the list into meaningful groups. So creating these headings is really meaningful. So let's go and do one of those. So what you need to do is um, type out what you want. Um, I'll call this contact initiation and you put a colon on the end. So it's the colon here at the end of it that really defines that it's a heading and you'll see that reflected in the sign here. You'll see there's a little colon on the end, okay? And that's the little secret to creating a heading. You don't need to define anything else along here for heading. You then can create your task. So the task can be called anything. So we'll call it add to CRM. Okay. And again, you don't have to create anything else. The task name is the only thing you need. So when you do that again, that is defining this name here. Okay. Then you want to create some notes. So the notes is where you can add in details about what needs to be completed to conclude that task, okay? So an obvious thing might be to have an intranet like this and you have a procedure, you, you grab the link to the procedure, okay? And you go and paste that procedure in there. And so when that gets completed, that notes will be added into that task. The other thing you can do is type something in. So we might go and say um, point one is um, open the CRM system. Now here's a trick. If you want to bring in a new line, uh, you hold down control and you push enter and you can then type in the new line. Okay. Um, enter, enter client, client details. Okay. And so there's our procedure for what needs to be done for that task. So when you open your task, if you look here and click this section here, you'll see those notes will appear in this section, okay? And that's the description you want to come through. You then can add assignees. We automatically pull all of the assignees or people within your Asana uh, organization. So you can easily select and drop down and add them in, okay? It, it just makes it a heap easier. Additionally, if you don't want to click the drop down, you can start typing a name and then click. It's really kind of makes it very quick. Followers is the people that are following and you can again type a name and click it. So if you go and look at Asana, we'll go back to the main parent task. You'll see here, that's the person that is assigned to it. And if you then go into the task, you'll see the follower is added down the bottom here. Okay. so. Going back to our checklist again, then you want to add a due on. Now this is uh, just a date. If you want it due today, you'd put a zero. Okay, so as soon as this form is submitted, that thing will be due today. Okay, but you could say it's due tomorrow. Okay, or two days later. So if it's so if it's Tuesday today, this one will then be due on Thursday, etc. Okay, so you just need to be considerate of that but it's a feature you currently can't have in Asana. So it's really nice to be able to stage out a workflow and enforce a time frame of when uh, things are going to occur. So if you look at this checklist here, we'll go back to the parent task. You'll see here, this one's due tomorrow, this one's due on Thursday and then on Saturday. So they're staged out. Okay. Again, a feature you don't currently get in Asana, so very handy to have. The last thing you want is tags. Now you can, again, 
we pre-populate this in from your Asana so you can select and choose tags that you currently have in your Asana organization or you can create a new one. So if you don't want that one, you can delete it out and just type in a new tag. We'll pick up on that and we'll create that new tag for you. Now while you get that validation error there, it's because we use this Google spreadsheet to pre-populate a validation list of known tags. Now we don't know new tags are naturally gonna get an error there, but you, you know you're creating a new tag so you can just ignore that. Okay, so that could be anything you like. You could put that in as um, um, you know, new lead or something like that, okay? And so then they get tagged that way and that tag will be created in your Asana for you automatically. So you just continue through adding in your tasks, okay? Um, add in your notes, okay? You can even copy the copy and paste in people if it's consistent along the way. Uh, stage out who and when they're gonna be for, that could be for follow up, okay? And follow up again. And then you can add another heading Okay, and task five, task six. So very quick to fill it out. And there you go. Now you're ready to go back and submit your form. So you go back here, submit your form, and that'll be automatically created for you in Asana like this underneath your parent task or underneath the project.